Morning guys, Tamar Blank here. Um, I'm just getting prepped up to make some wraps. Um, I did a video on my little man cave yesterday and some guy messaged me because I mentioned him I need to make some wraps. Can I go through my bait preparation and how I wrap and vacuum pack. So I'm taking this opportunity to record it at the same time. Just letting stuff defrost for a bit. Um, I've taken out 20 black lug, box of squid, two blueies. I'll be making squid and lug, black lug and squid and bluey wraps. So I'm just waiting for this lot, just to defrost a little bit. I will be focusing on the squid and bluey first, because I don't want the bluey to defrost too much I want to work with it while it's still frozen and um, get that back in the freezer and back, back packed and back in the freezer ASAP so once it's defrosted a little bit more I'll get back to you right as you can see I have managed to fill it the bluey while it's, it's still frozen I will keep these bits Especially the heads and the tails and a bit of the guts because I do um I drop a prawn trap on some of the locations that I go to to try and get some live prawn while I'm fishing. So that will always help out. And I say you'll need a very sharp fillet knife to be able to fillet it while it's still frozen. But I'll fillet it into sections. Should get about eight baits out of one bluey, so Basically, I filleted it, cut it in half, and now I'll cut these down in half. I'll do this one at an angle, sort of like in the shape of a squid. And then I'll wrap them around the squid. All right. While I do that and get the squid prepared, I'll see you in a second. All right, I've been able to pull off about eight squid off the box. So I say it's all still frozen. Yeah, I'm rushing this bit because I don't want the bluey to go soft. I want it to stay hard. It's still hard at the moment. So I want to get this wrapped up, vacuum packed and in the freezer straight away. When it comes to the black lug, black lug's fine, you can freeze that down a few times, like, you know. but bluey, once it gets defrosted, it gets very soft, so, um, I want to work with this quite quickly. I'll just put the bluey on the table there for a sec. What I want to do is prep the squid, and say it's still rock solid, still a bit of paper on some of them. What I want them um, is about a thumb and a half size. I normally do away with the heads and I'll put that with the bits of bluey that's left over. And I will cut off the wings so it don't spin in the air. As you can see, quite a sharp knife. And so you will need a really sharp knife to cut that bluey, fill it that bluey down when it's frozen. So I'm just prepping these. I'll just put them bits pieces along with the head of the blue inner tail and the guts and I'll vacuum pack that down. I say I if I go to a mark where I can drop a drop net, a prawn trap, I will. Get some nice fresh prawn. Sorry if I kept pausing, it's just I, I really want to work as quick as I can with the bluey, as I said. Don't want it to defrost. All these bits won't go to waste. I'll back and pack that all up later when I'm finished. 
Okay. It's just my message coming in. Okay. Not recording. This <laughs> I'm not gonna say sorry. Noisy bugger. Right. That's pretty much if I can find the wings on this one. Not too worried about the wings. You can though if you don't wrap them up. Make your bait spin when you're casting. Right, so we've got eight good sized baits there. I leave the guts and all that in, I don't bother taking them out. I couldn't get um, dirty squid for love nor money. Um, so yeah, it's just basically cal calamari, you know, clean. But it will do the job still. Right. Um, I won't need a bait aid for this. To, but. That's how the bottom of the fillet you can cut straight down and out, and you get two triangular bits in the top half. I'll just go across and uh, cut it into like a squid like shape. I don't put too much elastic on just to weld these in for the wraps because obviously when you <laughs> bait it up for your, on your hooks you'll add more so this is just to hold it together while it's freezing as you can see perfect shape let's get a bit of I like doing this, it just saves messing around when I'm down there. Yeah, I mean, I can focus more on my fishing. And basically, you know, I'll put four in a pack and I'll take two packs with me. I generally, on a short session, around about four hours, four, four or five hours, I'll use probably six baits, leave it out there for about 40 minutes because they're quite big baits. Um, So it's quite handy you know I can just pick out the amount of packs that I need for that session rather than take a whole box of squid down it defrosting and then you know as you can see this is all still frozen solid not too worried about the black lug because as I say you can freeze that down a few times that's not a problem so I don't put too much in the way of elastic at this stage it's just enough to bind it together because I will be putting more on so to say my bottom hook will go in there top hook will clip in there bait elastic it all on right while I'm prepping these for a bit of speed I'll pause the video and I'll come back once they're all done all right don't have enough squid to make these up yet just because it's still frozen to a block so I say it's still I can't so I'm gonna to have to wait for that to defrost a little bit before I can finish off these but to keep these frozen I'm just gonna put this packet back in the freezer and then we'll focus on getting these um, the backpacks so that will be the next bit so I'm trying to work quickly with these I don't want the baby to defrost too much and spoil it. Okay, I'll be back in a sec. Rat pack's ready. Uh, I've got two different sizes. So I normally use the bigger one for bigger baits. Um, but this one here, perfect size. You can fit four wraps, four to five wraps in that quite easily. And I'll show you how I do that. Uh, this is just a, a cheap cheap uh, one really it only cost me about 30 pounds from a company called Bait, uh, butcher sundries it's only a you know a home one it's nothing 
not a commercial one, but it does the job for me. Uh, it does have a blade at the back here, but I find that's a bit irritating. So, yeah, what I'll do is get my roll. In here, I've got a heating element. Let me just sort this. Okay, you know, it's, it's rocking on it. heating element there so basically we need to seal this end of the bag first we just place that on the heating element make sure it's and then just press seal only wait for the light to go out so I say I'm sorry I'm rushing through this guys just I want to get the bluey in the freezer okay, so then we need to cut it to length so I'll cut it to the width of the chopping board. It's got a perforate, uh, like a textured one side and clear the other. And uh, yeah, let's say what I do is I'll put four of these in there. So I can just take a couple of packs with me. Already done. Right. There we go. Four nice baits there. And all you do is then you've got this channel which you need to make sure the open end of the uh, packaging is inside there if you are using the bigger longer stuff there is a like a tube bit here you don't want to cover that because that's what sucks out the air then all we do is we place that down make sure it's down sir press vac and seal it's now sealing Open that up just for tidiness. I'll trim a bit of the excess off. There we go, got four decent beds, and that bluey it's just starting to go a little bit soft. So let's get that in the freezer and get the next one done. Like I say, I'm just rushing through this, I don't want the bluey to go spoil the bluey. So back in there to seal that end. Yeah, I only paid 30 quid for that and uh, you get um, a big roll with it and I think you pay something like six pounds for two of the smaller rows. They do them all different sizes. They even do backing cards you can put in, but you know, I don't bother with all that. Again, wait for the... Chopping board. in that channel close the lid back and seal right. cancel that that don't start. must have not closed it properly make sure it's in that channel Mm 
Let's try again. There we go. Seal it. Cut the edge off. The excess. Right, you see me do the uh, squid and bluey. I'll wait for the uh, squid to defrost a bit more and the black lug, and I'll show you them. I won't need to show you, you know what I mean, the rest of the bluey I put in because I didn't have enough defrosted squid. But yeah, that's it. Nice, easy packs. So I can just take a couple with me at a time. Right, when I come back, I'll be doing the squid and lug, black lug. Back again, um, still waiting on the squid to the frost on the block. But while I'm here, I'll give you a quick tip for when I have sand eel. Obviously, I don't have any to spare. But what I use is this soup vacuum flask. And what I do is, the night before the, I go out on a session, is I'll put it in the freezer like that. And then I would open up my sand deal and place them all in there. And then basically what that does, that keeps them in pristine frozen condition throughout the session. And basically if i got any left at the end of the session, I can come home and re pack them. So I say it's always worth to get one of these, especially for sand because they're quite, you know, quite, quite thin. This, put it in the freezer the lid off overnight and then when you go on your session open the uh, backpack up place them all in there put the lid on and they will stay frozen solid and in pristine condition for hours and hours and then let's say any you don't use you can re that pack when you get home so yeah little tip there it's starting to defrost enough for me to start prizing it apart now. I'll say all these heads and that won't go to waste. Um, I'll start prepping that. As I'll say, some of these are big, you know what I mean? So like that one now, I could probably cut that one down in half and get two baits out of that one for black lug. Um, but yeah, I'm quite fortunate really, I literally live two minutes away from one of the best fishing tackle shops in Plymouth, Southwest Sea Baits. Um, always quality bait, friendly people, and uh, you know, always good prices. So, so I went down there with my winnings from the Flounder competition, if you didn't see that there's a video of my first recorded catch report sound quality ain't that great so i um well i had uh there's a two one two two eight and a one two flounder and i come for in my club's competition so i won 80 quid so it went towards me you know partly stocking up my freezer again with what you see here today but yeah if you are a plymouth person and you don't use southwest sea baits i'm not sponsored or anything like that they are literally a two minute drive literally a mile away from me so yeah give them a check them out well, i'll just prep these squid these squid and see how the black lug's getting on all right i was able to unwrap the black lug still a bit frozen still going to give it another few more minutes squid still wired so i'm not worried about that too much i uh, got about 20 black lug in there I normally use two per squid, so I should get about 10 wraps out of that lot. Okay, so once they've defrosted a bit more, I'm starting to go. I'll come back and we'll start making some wraps up. Right, back again. Black lug is defrost enough for me to put it on. I've just put the squid on ice, I didn't want that to frost too much. I'll put that back in the fridge, freezer, sorry. I'll save that big one for the uh, bluey ones that I've been doing. 
So I've got 10 here and I've got 20 black lug in here. They're just defrost enough to start wrapping them up. So, so I normally use two black lug per squid. A lot of people say when I go fishing, I'm going to use big baits, but uh, got to be in it to win it, isn't there? So, yeah. Just grab a couple of black lug. Let's see. Put tails at the top, and then I just fold them around. Create a nice chunky bit at the bottom. So I don't put too much elastic on, not because obviously when you put it on your hook, you'll be putting more elastic on it. So I don't want to mummify it, but enough just to hold it. On here. So I say I do these in, sh in sh sort of like sh short, small batches, just so I can try and keep the bait as frozen as possible, and it don't get spoiled. I know you can freeze black lug down a few times, but I rather. Try and keep it as in pristine and as fresh condition as possible. Get it straight back in the freezer. Come on. As I said before, about being quite fortunate about having Southwest Sea baits down at the bottom of the road, you know. I won't recommend somewhere or promote a product, you know. I mean I'm not sponsored or affiliated or anything by anything that any other products that I've reviewed on my channel, you know. It's my own personal opinion. You know. And like I say, they are literally just down the road, so I can pop in my car and be down there within two minutes flat. So yeah, minimal elastic just to hold it on there, because like I say, you will be putting more on it when you... Just wrap it around your hooks. And so I normally uh, put five squid to a packet of these. Uh, mainly because if there's any small white around there, we'll pick at the black lug and strip the black lug off the thing. So I tend to bring change the bait more on this one than I would say the bluey and squid not by much you know what I mean but uh, wrong way around Dave. Yeah, right, what I'll do is I'll pause the video while I'm wrapping these up and then I'll come back when I start backing you pa pa packing them up. Right, there we have 10 lovely black lug and squid wraps. Now what I'm going to do is set up the backpack and we'll get these back packed up. Okay, we'll seal this end. down properly <coughs> Wait. 
look for the chopping board. Keep it to four. Now, this one's going to be a four pack. Well, I will be doing more. So I'll put the other two in the freezer that will be left over from this batch. And then when I've got um, more made up, I'll uh, pack them up. So I've still got to do some more squid and bluey. So I've just taken a, another block of squid out to defrost. So I say I just do it in small batches. I don't want stuff to fully defrost. I want to try and keep the bait as in good condition as possible. how I do my bait preparation. Like I say um, I don't have any sandal on me but like I say I showed you a tip I use when I use sandal to use a small soup vacuum flask to put them in. But yeah now let me get the two packs of so I mean they're rock solid now. So yeah I'll just keep doing that until I got a fair few packs made up. I don't have to worry. There's a squid and bluey there. Black lug and squid there. All ready to rock and roll. Well, like I say guys, thanks for watching. Um the guy who messaged it private messaged me. That's how I do it. Um I've got to say if anybody else wants to know anything, I'll do my best to help as much as I can. I say uh, <clears throat> I'm only starting back out myself, so you know I'll just put that in the freezer until so it stops it going too soft. Whilst the other squids defrosting, uh, yeah. So like I said, you know, um, you know I'm only starting back out myself, so I'm still learning, and, you know. But yeah, all this stuff here won't go to waste. I will vac pack all this up. Basically, I'll use this with my prawn trap. When I'm on a mark, uh, I know I can drop a prawn trap, get some nice live prawn. But yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, you gotta say, I think I'm just over a hundred subscribers now, which is 
surpassed what I ever thought I would get. You know what I mean? I've only been doing videos like this for a couple of months. So, so I try and get better at talking louder when I'm out and about. And I'm trying to get the night recording. It's just I'm finding lighting and stuff like that a bit of a issue at the moment. I have tried, but I will, you know, try and perfect it so I can then start sharing my night fishing, you know, say. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Until the next video, tight lines.